there's an, there's an imbalance here between what the, between Israel and Palestine that the current Israeli government. What imbalance? Can you build, build it out for me? Because there's, you, have, you haven't been able to name a freedom they don't have. Did you know that the Israeli government gave up the Gaza Strip in pursuit of peace in 2006? And it was immediately taken over. 10,000 Jewish settlers left the Gaza Strip in pursuit of peace in 2006. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel today. We're here again with a very interesting topic by Charla Kick. And I think the title is Charla Kick, the Monish Naive Pro Palestine Student. Wow. I believe this is going to be an interesting and a very educative one. So let's start with the video. Go. I think that the um, determination of the Israeli capital should be something that should be settled in a Israeli-Palestinian bilateral negotiation for the creation of a Palestinian state, which is something that the Palestinian people should be able to have. They should be able to have freedom. They shouldn't. So they do have freedom. What freedoms do the Palestinian people not have right now? Well, I mean, currently... Name one freedom. Uh, have you been to the West Bank? Something they lack, freedom, freedom of movement. Sure they do. Uh, an Arab in the Palestinian Authority can travel to Israel, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, in and out with any sort of restriction. I've been to Judea and Samaria. I've been to Hebron. I've been to the Golan Heights. As a Christian, thankfully, I'm allowed in there. You know, all my Jewish tour guides and my IDF friends as Jews are not allowed in the West Bank. Why? So what freedom don't they have? Well, you know. No, I don't know. <laughs> Can you name one freedom that the Palestinian people do not have? I mean, look. Or, or is that just a talking point with no evidence? Look, sophistry aside for both of us, I, you know, just, there's an, there's an imbalance here between what the, between Israel and Palestine that the current Israeli government. What imbalance? Can you build, build it out for me? Because there's, you, have, you haven't been able to name a freedom they don't have. Did you know that the Israeli government gave up the Gaza Strip in pursuit of peace in 2006? And it was immediately taken over. 10,000 Jewish settlers left the Gaza Strip in pursuit of peace in 2006. And it was immediately taken over by the terrorist group Hamas which is one of the richest parts of Israel. Israel, Israel. Israel gave it up voluntarily because they thought it would give them peace. And they, the PA didn't give it to them. So what freedoms does the PA not have? Well, I mean, honestly. This is really important because you come up here and say, Ilan Omar said nothing wrong. You make a factless, evidence, you know, totally absent of evidence statement, the Palestinian people don't have freedom. Say one thing, please, defend yourself. So, Look, I'm so, I came out here not completely prepared. Well, because it doesn't exist. So here's the thing. The talking point is factless. The Palestinian Authority exists as a governance structure over now what is truly Judea and Samaria, which has always been Israel. Do you know where the word Palestine comes from? You probably don't. Uh, Arabia Palestiniana, no, which was the Roman it was Philistine. Province. It was Philistine, which is, an Arabi uh, which is a Roman term, which only goes back about you know 1,400 years. Israel has always been the home of the Jews, dating back for 3,500 plus years. Israel is yeah. mentioned over 635 times in the Torah. Jerusalem has zero religious significance in the Quran at all to the Arab Muslim people, yet it's mentioned 637 times. Yet under Israeli control, the Arabs and the Muslims still get total and complete access to their holy sites. Yet where the Arabs control areas, the Jews are not allowed to visit there whatsoever. Why is that the Palestinian Authority pays the families of terrorists that kills Jews? They have a pay for slay policy. Thank God that President Trump just finally defunded it. I encourage you one thing. Don't believe the facts and the narrative that are just coming from the media because you're just wrong here and you obviously can't defend your position. Go and visit the West Bank yourself. You'll see the facts up and close because you're incorrect. Wow, wow. What a very interesting topic. Talakik demolish naive pro Palestinian students. Wow. And you can tell at a point it was even short of West. I believe for you to come and challenge Talakik with a question, you really have to be prepared. You really have to get your points, get your facts. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to even prove your points to Charlie Cook. Wow. And from the question he asked that uh, the, 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 the Palestinians, the Palestinians, they don't have freedom. Just, and 
Talakik was trying to, you know, ask him which of the freedom is he talking of. He should name one freedom. And he wasn't able to name one freedom. And from what Talakik have explained, based on this video, that uh, the Israeli gave up their land, which is Gaza, just for, just for, just for peace to reign. And from the numbers, from the figure, it mentioned that about 10,000 10, Israelites have to, you know, give up their property and all that, live in Gaza. And what surprised me the most that immediately the, the Israel gave up the land, gave up the land Gaza, the, 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 uh, the, the, uh, the Hamas, which has been labeled as terrorist group, took over the country took over the country and since then i believe life has been difficult for the people of uh for the people of gaza and you know all those things they try to blame blame it on the on on, on israel which is not true and you can tell that from research from research right from the the very time i think uh the date is uh 2006 right from the very time uh, the the Israelite gave up the land to 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 the Palestine. Up to date, up to date, there has not been any development in the land. There have not been any development. If you talk about the social amenities, you talk about the roads, you talk about even food, you talk about hospital. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. And from the the past video I've watched, I watched. Uh, I think they were even saying. Living in Gaza right now is very difficult. Living in Gaza right now is very difficult. And a lot of people that, a lot of people will try to blame it on Israel. But you know, just like Chalakik has rightly explained, uh, is because of the terrorist group, which is known as Hamas, that have took over Gaza, that have took over Gaza right from the time Gaza was, Gaza was uh, given up by Israel just to promote peace, just to promote peace, and you can tell that you can tell that the 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 people of Israel giving up Gaza, which is originally their own land, just to just 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 for the sake of peace, is not something easy anyone can do. It's not something easy anyone can do. I want you just imagining the loss. The 10,000 people that left Gaza, imagine the loss they have to bear. I believe most of them, they, sh they, 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 they should have a house in Gaza. They should have a property in Gaza. Giving up all that to come back to their own land, to come back to, come back to their own land, I think is something very difficult. It's something very difficult. In order for there to be development in, in, in Palestine, I think they have to really, they have to be ready to take care of their own problem. And they have to be ready to eliminate uh, the Hamas group, which have been labeled as the terrorist group. And I believe in order for, just like in order for you to be able to, if you want to come, and I believe the guy said he, he wasn't prepared. If you want to come and ask Salaki question, you have to be, you have to be well prepared. You have to prepare your fat. Because Chalakik was trying to, to, to make him name one, 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 one freedom that is trying, one freedom, uh, one freedom, and he wasn't able to name any. So I believe in order for there to be, to be, to be, to be, to be peace, to be peace even in Palestine, they have to, they have to be ready to, you know, fight their own problem. They have to be ready to fight their own problem. And believe me, I've really learned, I've really learned a lot from this video, uh, from Charlie Kick point of view, and I kind of relate with him. And I would like to hear your comments. What do you like about this video by Charlie Kick? And what can you say, say regarding the Palestine and Israel? Keep the comments coming. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day.